Hello everybody and welcome back to more Plants vs. Zombies. It took me like 15 episodes, but I finally realized I should probably be taking care of my Zen Garden plants before the episode starts, not at the start of the episode. So yeah, watered all of my plants, grew them up, and now I'm going to sell these marigolds that are demanding bug spray. Because no, you don't get to demand bug spray. If you want to be, if you want the uh, phonograph, then that's one thing. But bug spray, no. No, you don't get to do that. So there we go. Our Zen Garden's looking a little bit emptier now. Maybe we'll get some more plants. Anyhow, we're going back to survival mode. We're doing survival night on hard mode. So, probably isn't going to be that difficult. All right, we got a buckethead zombie to go start. So we're going to take puff shrooms to help us out early on. We're going to be using sunflowers, not sun shrooms, because eventually we can turn those into twin sunflowers, which will be very nice. We want grave busters to deal with the graves. And it is nighttime, so I mean, it would behoove me to not take advantage of some gloom shroom strats. I also think I'm going to take some, um, a squash for those buckethead zombies that will come around. Um, doom shrooms could be nice as well. Hmm. Maybe scaredy shrooms? Again, a lot of these plants we can replace later down the line. Also, I, I should probably just be aware that there may be, like, digger zombies that will come in the future, so... Eh, we can use gloom shrooms for them. Other than that, um, I think we'll take like a potato mine, maybe. No, I don't need potato mine. We've got we got puff shrooms. Um, well, gee, I guess like let's take an ice shroom. Why not? Ready, set, plant. So I'm gonna start putting the sunflowers not quite in the back column because if they're in the back column. Digger zombies might take advantage of them. And I don't want that. I do love the nighttime music. Obvious sentence, I love all of the music in this game. Set up a couple puff shrooms, it'll take care of him. So our early game is just going to be using Puff Shrooms to fend off the weaker zombies. Then once we actually build up our Sunflower Supply, we can start getting those Gloom Shrooms out. It'll probably be very similar to the strategy that we used for the daytime levels. I don't really anticipate much changing in that regard. Except this time we now have Graves to take care of, and I believe we're going to be getting more Graves every single time we get to pick new plants. Two of them together. Luckily, we've got unlimited puff shrooms. So we are still dealing with two flags at a time, which means that if they're following the regular rules of the game, zombies are not going to be appearing out of the graves until the final wave. Which is a nice little comfort. And we can now start taking care of them. Alright, so here we go. We got our first cone head. Nothing we can't handle. Gloom Shroom down. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Gloom Shroom time! I think Gloom Shroom probably gets the award for most broken plant in the entire game the best plant in the game. I definitely think so. Eat that grave. 
again in preparation for another glowing shroom. I'll wait for the zombies to move away before I start eating more graves. Oh boy! Here he comes. We're about to get our Gloom Shroom back, so I actually don't think we necessarily need the Squash. If he goes in the- oh yeah, oh he's so dead. We did not even need the Squash, that's fantastic. Also, not needing those scaredy shrooms either. That guy I will use a squash on. Take care of that last grave. And dippity doo. Again, if you could take Imitator Gloom Shroom, that would be nuts. I might go Cob Cannons later on as well, which is unusual considering uh, it's a nighttime level and we don't have as much sun as usual, but I mean, what else am I going to spend it on? Probably Spike Rock. <laughs> Spike Rock is disgustingly good as well. Just gonna lay down the groundwork for when we inevitably make more gloom shrooms. Also gonna lay some guys down here for when digger zombies may end up coming. We can also start turning our sunflowers into something else. Namely, twin sunflowers. Another grave? How dare you. Oh, wow. So graves can just pop up and spawn in new zombies. Sure. Uh, that's fine. Actually, for the time being, I'm going to put the guys as Gloom Shrooms in the back. Because of that, and survival hard mode in the daytime, Digger Zombies ended up showing up in the second round. Alright, what do we have next? Oh, Ladder Zombies. Well, thankfully, Ladder Zombies do not put ladders on top of <laughs> garlic, so we're good. So we're going to want Twin Sunflowers, we're going to want Gloom Shrooms. I'll take some pumpkins, spike weeds, spike rock, more more garlic, grave buster. Uh, maybe chrono bolt, perhaps. And maybe melon bolt. Maybe we'll get some winter melons in there as well. I got a plan. Alright, so starting veins off, we're gonna make... Yeah, we're gonna put our twin sunflowers, I think, here. around those guys for extra protection. Ooh, never gloom shroom, there we go. Uh-oh. Garlic's running a little low.
Oh, screen door zombies, what are you even doing? You're not... <laughs> you don't seem to know where you are. Sunflowers down here. We don't need Spike Rock in the middle as much because the middle's getting hit by double Gloom Shroom. The ladder zombie's a little faster, but he's still gonna get decimated by the gloom shrooms. The ladder can't protect him from that. Yeah, this is a perfect example of the hard mode survival levels, where it's just like... Yeah, some strategies are just uh, stupidly good. just as preparation. So we can have some winter melons in the back here to s s slow the zombies down. Because that's definitely what we need. Okay, my garlic needs to get replenished more in this mode than it did in survival in the daytime on hard. I hope I can get that last twin sunflower planted uh, before this uh, round is over. That would be nice. Not sure if that's actually going to happen, though. No, it's not going to happen. I love how my puff shrimps are still standing here like, hey, <laughs> you're doing a really bad job of getting rid of us. Oh, wow. Did that guy just, did that grave just pop up to destroy a puff shroom that I had? Because that's not okay. Okay, if that's the case, oof, we actually are going to want to leave some space open then. I'm going to just preemptively shovel away these puff shrooms. <gasps> ooh, ooh, yes, yes. <laughs> cool, that's all the twin sunflowers I want. I have plans for where, what those other sunflowers are going to become. Wow, this is not a very impressive lineup of zombies. Okay. Melon Poulton, Winter Melon. Colonel Poulton, Cobb Cannon. Spike Weed and, and, Spike, Weed and Spike Rock. Uh, definitely Garlic. Definitely Pumpkin. And Grave Buster. We don't need more Gloom Shrooms and we don't need more sunflowers. Here we go. We do need double garlic now at all times because we don't want those. Actually, no, here. Just in case the double garlic doesn't work out, all well, these zombies will not be able to hit those uh, gloom shrooms. 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna shovel away all the puff shrooms, because I do not want graves popping up over my other plants. I think if you... I think graves will generally prioritize open space rather than spaces where your plants are going to be. But I don't want to risk it. I definitely undervalued Twin Sunflowers. I mentioned that they were pretty much useless. No, in survival mode, they're great. I take that back. Because in survival mode, saving space is actually important. They can't go anywhere. Especially since I'm now slowing them down. Make sure we put... There we go. Digger zombies, do your work. At this point, <laughs> now we can start prepping for the cop. I'm gonna save up a bunch of money, then shovel away my two sunflowers here and make a cop can, shovel away the two there and get another cop cannon. Because th this isn't easy enough. <laughs> this is still too difficult. go. The reason I didn't shovel those guys away until later is because I want to maximize the amount of time I have those sunflowers on to maximize the amount of sun I get. said, Plants vs. Zombies 1, if you know how to play, it's really easy. <laughs> this is hard mode survival, and ooh, Zen Garden Plant, and we're still kicking butt and taking names. This is just fantastic. Oh, is my garlic up? <laughs> my gosh, I love how good garlic is in this game. I am very sad at how much garlic got nerfed in the second game. The sequel to this game, Garlic makes a reappearance and it goes from being like one of the best plants in the game to literally one of the worst. It's almost unusable for a variety of reasons. But it basically boils down to A, it has almost no HP, it dies in like five bites. And B, like half the zombies in the game can just bypass it anyways. You know what, let's start planting some cob cannons. Again. Okay, that's not okay. I guess we can just start putting pumpkins on all of our stuff. Oh, is it is it the end of the wave already? I didn't even notice. And uh, how's Georgie doing? Pogo Zombie. 
Still not a problem, because he's going to get shredded by the Gloom Shrooms, even if he appears in those lanes. Alright, okay. Jack in the Box Zombie might be problematic. Okay. So, in the case of Jack... So, we definitely need garlic. In case of Jack in the Box Zombie, I will be bringing Fume Shrooms and Gloom Shrooms. Uh, I will be bringing Colonel Polt and Cobb Cannon, Spike Weed and Spike Walk. Spike Walk. <laughs> That's the Chinese version of it. And then, what else? I don't really... I think I'll take Pumpkin. Oh, I need Grave Buster. I was going to do Pumpkin and Imitated Pumpkin, but just in case the Jack in the Box Zombie causes some problems. I think this is how we'll do it. And at this point, I'm pretty sure we've already won. I want to see if I can put a pumpkin around part of the cob cannon. I don't think you can. But this will just be proof of concept. Yeah, you can't put pu pumpkins on cob cannons. That's a, that's a shame. Can you put pumpkins on spike weed? Or spike rock? <laughs> you can! <laughs> All right, then. The more you know, I guess. And hey, using the cop cannons to combo zombies does give you more prizes like money and uh, other things, like Zen Garden plants. Oh boy, here they come. Let's see if our cop can just... You've gotta be kidding me. This is why I brought Spike Weed and Spike Rock. And this is why I think Jack in the Box zombies are some of the most annoying zombies in the whole game. There we go, five cob cannons. Wow. 
realistically, that should be checkmate, but where's the grave gonna appear? No! It removed one of my gloom shrooms! No, it removed two of my gloom shrooms! Curse you. This is why we need the pumpkins, I guess. <laughs> that one spike rock still has the pumpkin on it. That's funny. Oh, hey, Gargantuar has arrived. It's a good thing we got our cop cannons. I hope there's actually quite a few of them so we can get the, uh... Oh, shoot. Mmm. Well, this is gonna... Okay. Change of plan will be needed. Okay. So, we are going to need another Gloom Shroom. We're going to need Spike Rock. Take Pumpkin. Grave Buster. Bring those two on for fun. What else? And garlic, obviously. Haven't missed anything? Don't think so. We build everything. Cool. We need to put stuff in front of the garlic in preparation for the gargantuars, because the gargantuars will crush the garlic in one hit. Don't want that. I'm gonna keep that garlic around, but he's going he's on death's door anyways. Spike Rock, Palooza, uh, get rid of the pumpkin there, he looks bad. Those two garlic should be lasting for a while. Guess I didn't need the gloom shrooms in the back after all. That's what I get from planning in advance, I guess. This is also where we're finally going to see firsthand of how good the spike rocks are at keeping gargantuars at bay. And we're getting yet another glimpse into how disgustingly overpowered cop cannons are on very long levels. Now the zombies are just dying before they can even get to the garlic. So it's pretty much not even needed. Alright, there's a flag coming, so I want to save my cob cannons for when the gargantuars come. Oh shoot! The imps might actually wreck me. The imps are gonna be tossed right on top of the cob cannons. Oh, hey, wait, there are digger zombies. Never mind. How did I miss that? So, it's a, it, uh, so the gloom shrooms back here are going to be helpful, as are the pumpkins. I'm going to start putting pumpkins back here to protect the twin sunflowers. If the cob cannons back here get hit, then they're a lost cause. I now have far more sun than I know what to do with. Yeti zombie? I thought you only appeared on the 4-10 in adventure mode. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
I'm gonna put some gloom shrooms down in preparation for the imps that are likely to arrive. Here come the gargantuars, okay. Gonna launch two of these guys right at them. There we go! Popcorn party achievement unlocked. You have to defeat two gargantuars using corn cob missiles in one level. I did not want to launch you right on top of yourself. That actually seems like it's a dumb idea. Right, here's our next gargantuar. If you can launch two cannons at him right in succession, then the imps will not be able to be launched from their head, which is fantastic. And as you can see, yeah, the Gargantuars kept smashing the spike rock and they weren't able to destroy them. Keep the garlic replenished. Alright, here we go. And I actually have a special surprise for them here. Oh, you, you would. Alright. It's fine. Doom! And there we go. Survival mode at night. That was actually a little bit different than the strategy we had for daytime, so I will keep that as a separate episode. We get a new survival mode. Oh, that's great. We still have survival endless, though. To unlock. And we have some new stuff in the Zen Garden. That's kind of cool. And you know what? We may as well buy these free seedlings as well. Looks like you guys are getting to see me do Zen Garden today, after all. Well, that's alright. <laughs> I love it. I'm such a cheapskate. I absolutely refuse to buy bug spray. I still, to this day, I don't know if Stinky is actually collecting money for me if I'm on the stages or not. The iOS version let me know, hey, while you were gone, Stinky collected this many coins for you. Not in this. In this, you, I have to actually pay attention to my money counter and see if it increased. I don't want to do that. Like, imagine if... Imagine if you, like, work at a job and you have set up direct deposit at your job so that, like, when you get paid, it goes directly to your bank account. Imagine if the bank account never actually let you know, hey, this... You got this much money. Oh, hey, second security shroom. We'll sell him. <laughs> 3000 Yes, please. A second hypno shroom. Yeah, I don't want two of them. And I can't even make them grow right now because we don't have the mushroom garden. And I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> Unless I grow the tree of wisdom earlier than I expect. But yeah, as I was saying, like, can you imagine if you had direct deposit set up at your company? You got paid... But then you go to your bank account and they don't actually let you give you a list of like, hey, you got a transaction for this much money. Instead, you it's like, no, you just need to pay attention to what your bank account was before and after in order to figure out how much money you make. And your job doesn't tell you how much you make. It's not a perfect metaphor, but you, you get the idea. It's kind of dumb. All right. I'm assuming when I buy enough fertilizer, like, he'll just cut me off and be like, oh, you, you, this will make you... There we go! We bought all the fertilizer we need, so now we'll be able to make this grow to his maximum size. You'd think Torchwoods would douse snow peas, and you'd be correct, because you, my friend, are one smart cookie. Yeah. Learn that the hard way. Those hateful zombotany zombies, who do they think they are shooting at your plants? It's a good thing walnuts stop them cold. Unless you're going for the achievement that doesn't let you do that. The Poco Party and Bobsled Bonanza minigames are really, really, really difficult. Want to drop off one of the reallys uh, uh, in that des description? Use the squash. Squash definitely helps. Squash is a great plant. Just when you thought jalapenos couldn't be any more useful, a tree of wisdom lets you know that they also destroy Zomboni's ice trails. Bam. I thought that was just self-evident considering you got them on the level. Like right before the level where you face Zombonies. Obviously, you're going to try them out. Once you buy the imitator, try clicking the little drawing in the upper left corner of your almanac to access the entry on that sucker. Oh yeah, I still need to go for all the almanac entries. 
The number of coins you receive in Walnut Bowling is proportional to how cool you are as a measure... By, to how cool you are as measured by how many ricochets per nut you can pull off. That's tough, though. Please do not tap on the glass, or actually go ahead. Right-click on your aquarium garden or during Zomb Aquarium to deafen your underwater creatures. I don't want to do that, though. When I was uh, just an acorn, my grandpa told me, Son, vase breaker puzzles are much easier if you break the vases on the right side first. Yeah, it's very true. Dancers and I, zombie, may seem expensive, but in the right situation, they're worth every penny. Very, very, very rarely are they worth every penny. But there are times where they are worth it. And there we go. I had a dream. In it, cattail spikes popped balloons and dropped zombies to the ground. I don't know what it means. Cool. So I grew you to full size. Do I get the achievement for that? No, I can buy more for it. Oh, I can only hold ten for... Oh, wait. Not enough money. Oh, I could only hold ten at a time. Okay. Okay. Growing aquatic plants in Zen Garden is pretty much impossible without the Aquarium Garden, just saying. Y yeah, I know that. Digger zombies violate the natural order with their subterranean ways. It's only fair to use magnet shrooms to steal their mining picks. Well, I mean... Or you can just set up your plants to counter them. Like I did. Both are valid options. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Next time we go to survival hard mode in the pool. And that one should be quite a bit different because we'll be, we will be probably using Gloom Shrooms again. But I think we're also definitely going to be using Cattails. And, well, uh, who knows what else. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try using Gatling Peas and Torchwood. That could be interesting. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.